Hello guys, Dagon here. Today we're going to talk about a relic site that I found in a wormhole next to us. It was a C2 wormhole that um, spawned into our wormhole. And I went out before to uh, discover it. And I found there a relic site. A Sancha relic site it was. It was a ruined Sancha crystal quarry. So I go there. And there's actually a black monolith there. So Lone Wolf actually just made a video about one uh, he saw for the first time. And actually there's one uh, here too. So I found one. Um, I actually have some backup here. Because with our experience of shooting explorers, <laughs> I really wanted some backup. So uh, Guzuko from, uh, from our corporation, he actually came with us, came, came with me to uh, cover me. <laughs> When, if something would uh, would pop up, if someone would try to ambush me. I actually got Tech 2 Relic Analyzers new uh, now, which is a really big improvement. Uh, it's really, the sites go so much easier now with, uh, with the Tech 2s, because before I usually did blow up some of the containers, so it <laughs> did not complete all the hacks. Um, because I simply used a Tech 1 data analyzer and that, uh, that really hurt my performance and, uh, and my, my efficiency. But right now I have a Tech 2 and it really uh, is a big improvement. So there's the black monolith. It's pretty big actually. So um, I did not blow up any, uh, any of these. Uh, I did fail once. Uh, at one uh, particular uh, container and it failed once but um, I did not blow it up so I was really happy about that because uh, yeah training archaeology 5 did take some time but uh, it was worth it so you can see me struggling a bit with this with this one site it's really not treating me too well and also with the, with the new numbers it's really really handy to me because now with the new numbers, here you can see me uh, fail the hack. With the new numbers, you can see where a module is in the hacking minigame that is beneficial to you. So, for example, as you can see, the core here was um, marked by the by those numbers, kind of like kind of like Minesweeper. Really it reminded me a lot of Minesweeper, but um, it was really interesting to see to me because it really did. Um, improve my efficiency in doing these hacks um, I do tend to think longer about where I want to go before it was just like just click just click and go somewhere so I, I'm not sure if it actually got me any benefit in terms of uh, the time that I did the site but it did get me those positive modules more quickly and that really really helps in, uh, in doing these hacks and not failing them so uh, I do f fail them uh, much less often also because of these numbers and of course because of the, uh, the tech 2 relic analyzer but these, these numbers actually really help in, um, in me not blowing up the containers so actually yeah these hacks are going pretty well I have one f I have what have had one fail and uh, that was pretty much it. And uh, at the end, I'm gonna gonna get some pretty nice loot. I'm gonna see. So at these um, at these sites, I really did not get much. It was about five million combined. Um, all the uh, all the other containers. But at the last ruins that I do, you're gonna see some really really nice loot. So here we go. The uh, second to last container. These are the Sasha remains. This is a green one, a green core, I believe. Pretty much the easiest to do. So yeah, these these sites really, really, really are worth doing. So it was kind of a risk going into uh, hostile, uh, hostile wormhole, wormhole space. But as you're gonna see, the risk really, really did pay off. So oh, it was a yellow one actually. So if, if my videos, us killing explorers, is putting you off and going of going into wormholes, 
This is gonna contradict that entirely because you're gonna see in this last one. This loot, <laughs> it was it was pretty good. So there you can see it's really worth it. This was a C2 war mold though. I don't know if actually the same. I think so. That the same uh, null sex sites spawn in uh, in C2s as in, in C1s. But this particular one was a C2, where we found uh, this uh, this uh, this relic site. And there we have the core. Now contemplating, yeah, did a repair. Doing the setting, look at that. 75.4 million. 14 intact armor plates and some some other really good tech to salvage, making for a full 80.9 million in loot. That was that was really amazing. I was really amazed when I saw that loot, and it was totally worth it for me to warp into that hostile space uh, just to get this awesome loot. So I was I was really happy about that. So uh, if you want to go into these wormholes, it's really worth it. You can see. So keep doing it. But we might shoot you. So. <laughs> Thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next one.